people in the medieval period were very much the kings and queens of collapsible furniture far long long before anything like ikea was invented hi guys it's ben from medieval mayhem on this channel we do a lot of videos about diy uh, medieval furniture costuming weapons equipment and we review other people's gear as well we also take a good look at the medieval period in terms of the religion and politics of the day also some of the uh, major battles and that kind of thing so if you're new here and you enjoy those kind of topics you might want to consider subscribing alrighty so as I'm getting more involved in medieval reenactment and I'm building up my uh, I guess array of medieval furniture one of the things that I've really been trying to do is to make a medieval trestle table I wanted something that I could put in my tent to organize some of my gear so when uh, I'm, I'm away I, I've got my stuff uh, organized the way that I like it let's take a look uh, the first thing we're going to do is join a couple of pieces of wood together just to get the right thickness or the, the right width sorry and uh, I'm looking for something which is thereabouts of, of 60 or so centimeters what I'm trying to achieve is uh, a total of three tables and these are going to go inside a market style tent let's see how we go I'm using uh, just a very simple um, Sikaflex glue like I've used before in my other projects and uh, it's suitable for inside and outside use really good really simple stuff uh, but, but very very good uh, it's, it's a solid glue ideal for use in multi-weather environments decided just to trim just a little bit off each side just to make it fit a little bit better into the space that I already have
Alrighty, finally this is now complete. This has been a project that's been ongoing for such a long time uh, and I've sort of done a few bits here and a few bits there and chipped away at it. Um, I've got three of these tables in the make. This is the first one. I understand it's not completely perfect. There's a few blemishes here. Some of the glue doesn't seem to have been sanded away quite as much as I thought it was. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, but you know what, uh, this is the first time I've attempted to do um, a medieval table like this and it's it's been a really interesting project to do but super rewarding uh, and it's, it's a great project and it's something that's going to add a lot of value uh, to to my um, my tent and my sort of area when I'm um, in, in reenactment area so 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 happy that this is completed and I'm, I'm really really excited uh, to, to get it done. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you've got something out of it This is really not that hard to do in terms of the logistics of, of cutting it um, The actual angles and some of those sorts of things uh, are a little bit interesting um, However, I'd absolutely say give it a go because to buy something like this from a professional carpenter could cost you up to a thousand dollars and it probably cost me Maybe hundred and twenty um, and so the potential to save a lot of money is absolutely there and if you've, um, you've got a few skills and, and you're, um, you're willing to give it a go, why not? Um, so uh, let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make next. Let me know uh, if you've ever attempted a project like this and let me know uh, what you guys think of the project. Let me know um, sort of some of the things that I could, could work on and improve on. I'd really like to know because I want to be, you know, the best kind of person that I can be. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.